So, David here. Uh, another lesson. Um, we just worked a multi wire branch circuit, bam, tucked it in. That's why this wire is red. Um, we worked on things hot. Now we're going to work on things not. Um, first, confirm circuit's off. Hey, look, it appears that the circuit's off. It appears that I won't get shocked. I think this works. I need to go test it in something else to confirm it works and then try it again. Okay, so that's just a widow stick, a death wand. You can use it to assume that the power's off. Um, turn the breaker off, confirm that it was off and should have a lock on the panel. Hope nobody's touching it. Now I'm gonna turn this on to voltage. And I'm going to check from the hot to the neutral. This is more of a, a confirm. The light will go red, the number will go up. Neutral to ground, nothing. Hot to ground, nothing. I got zero. So that means it's off, but this could be broken. Go test it in another plug. Bam, it works, good. So that's how you confirm, make sure. So it still appears to be hot. Someone could just go turn on the breaker right now. I should have put a lock on it. But you know, I'm gonna work on it like it is hot. Pretend like it is. So now if this was hot, close my eyes, look away. Uh, that would blow. Blow the breaker, sparks flying, this would blow. Blow the breaker, sparks flying. Safety first. So power off, bam, need about six inches out the wall is always good. Uh, you gotta, Get things going, strip it off about half inch. I got this special climb tool right here, clip, twist. Bam, make a little loop. Klein, I like Klein, best electrical tools ever. This one's a little short, so I'm gonna strip it a little further. And twist, bam. Acting like it's hot when I'm not touching that hot, just in case it goes hot. It's not, but good. Okay, now I got my curves, my hooks ready to go. Take my receptacle. Two sides, ground side has silver posts, shiny. The hot side has brass posts. So ground and neutral on the same side. So ground on the green, neutral here, hot there. So what that means is ground is the big hole, hot is the small hole. Ground is this hole, neutral is the big hole, hot is this hole. Uh, first off, I like to start if I'm having two outlets. I mean, sorry. Let me start off with one set of wires. So I like to put in the screws that I'm not using. Less to get in my way, less to be a bother. So less to get shocked with. Pretending like it's hot, put this one on first. The hot, it wraps around the screw the way that the screw is going to turn. That way, when I turn the screw, it tightens the wire, but the wire is trying to pop out the side. So I need to tighten up my loop a little bit more. Bam. Okay, now I can tighten it and it's not gonna spin the wire out. It's gonna spin the wire on. So tighten it. Okay, now neutral side, hook it. Always the way around the wire that the wire is going to tighten. That way it holds it on. If you put it the other way, when you tighten it, it'll loosen the wire. It'll like push the wire out. So whenever you make your loops, you always want your loops to be all the way around and tighten them down. Give a good little tight like that. Now, still acting like it's hot, flipping it over. This is grounded now. Push the wires in bend them, fold them kind of thing. Make sure they don't hit each other when they go in. Because if you have an arc ball breaker and that ground's touching, it won't stay. I like pushing in with one hand usually but when you get close to that hot, just so I don't. Okay, so line the screws up. Um, I like to use my left hand as much as I can because my right one's stronger. So I'd like to get my right hand stronger and twist it in by hand. It's a good way to do it. Phillips slips, bam, got 10 and one, Klein. Square head, see that? Square head, holds on to them better. The little square head is the one that works for the outlets. So I like to spin them slowly until it starts touching, make sure it's flat and level, make sure it's centered, 
or you put it to the side that the hole's on. If you got more hole on this side, and you push the outlet that way, so the pipe covers. So you want it snug. You don't want to push it, tighten the screw so much that it starts pulling the outlet in, or it won't face the cover right. So that's about right there. You got my Klein squiggly screwdriver here. Makes plates go on on easy. So plate. Good to go. A little straighten, a little tighten. Beautiful, thank you. My name is David. Like, comment, whatever.